Hi, I'm Roddy from Roddy's Reviews, and today I am reviewing the Jet Beam Frostlight model number DDR26. And this is it. It's a very lightweight flashlight. Uh, I have it on uh, the bottom of it unscrewed because I'm going to show you where the battery goes, but this is the, the base of it. It comes with a, a handle that you slide through at the base so that you've got, you know, you can keep it on your wrist and keep your hands free until you need it and then you just grab up the flashlight which I will show you after. And it comes with the flashlight, the wrist, and the charger so that you can charge your battery. Uh, this portion goes into the flashlight, which I'll just demonstrate later. This is just a standard USB port, and you can put it into a charger, or you can, uh, you, you know, use your laptop to charge it. And it runs on lithium battery, one lithium battery. Battery is battery number is one eight six five zero, which are standard lithium batteries. I mean, I have quite a few rechargeable flashlights and they all run on the same batteries and they're really easy to, to get. And uh, what I'm, I'm going to show you, you put the battery into the base as so and then take the other end. I'm trying to do this one handed. Okay, put it in. I can't do it one-handed. Okay, I'm going to put the camera around my neck. Aim the camera down. There, now I've got two hands. And you just screw it in at the base like that. And as I said, the handle is nice. The wrist strap is nice because, you know, you can just hang it off your wrist. and keep your hand free and then when you want it you just pick it up and you're good to go. And what's cool about this one is it's got a little LED indicator right here and when you turn it on it'll tell you H for high, E for energy saver, and L for low and it also will come up with a numeric, 9 being the strongest, 1 being the uh, weakest and that tells you how many hours you have left of your battery which means I have nine hours at the moment on my battery so my battery is fully charged. It is extremely bright. I'm going to show you. I'm going to shut off the light here so you can see. That's on low. I'm going to put it back on high for you. You can see it's on high. I mean, that's a pretty bright. I mean, this I'm, I'm doing this at uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's light, as you can see through my bedroom curtain or what have you. It's light, so I mean, this thing. Can you imagine? In the dark, it's going to be a lot darker. I love it. Just there's the energy, and then there's the low. If you don't want to blind anybody, you can use a low beam. But if you're outdoors and it's really dark outside, you know, having that, that high beam will be real helpful. Or, you know, you have it in the house and you've got a power failure for whatever. You blow a fuse and you need to get to the fuse box. This is a great little light to have. Just because of the size. I have it sitting on my nightstand next to the bed, just in case, I mean, so I know where it is, you know, if I need it, or if I have to get up in the middle of the night and I don't want to turn on the overhead light, because I don't want to wake up my partner, he won't like that, I can just use the flashlight, and I have used it, and, uh, okay, I'm going to shut it off, and to charge it is extremely easy, you've got, where is it, this little, thing right here and this end 
goes into there like so and then you've got your standard port. Now I happen to have a charger so I just uh, put it right into my charger here and show you. Again I'm going to try and do this with one hand so actually I'm not. I'm going to do the same thing I did before and take two hands. I've got it into I've got it in the USB port of the charger right now and you can see that it is charging. 9 is the highest so it will I think it went down to 8 while I was videotaping so it does have to have a little bit of a charge to get back to full power but anyway that shows you yeah it shows you that it's charging. So that's it. That's my review of the uh, DDR26 uh, flashlight from JetBeam. You can get it online at www.jetbeamlight.com. J-E-T-B-E-A-M-L-I-G-H-T.com. And uh, it's a really nice little bat nice little flashlight. I'm really happy to have it in my arsenal of lighting. All right, well, that's me, Roddy, from Roddy's Reviews, and that's my review of the, uh, the Jet Beam flashlight. Thank you for re uh, following along with me.